to our double leg leg pass all right we didn't really come up off the mat all right but we're going to be up off the mat now so what we're going to do is i want you to go out first three or four reps i want you to be on your knees double leg leg pass and then i want you to come up to your feet now the difference between when i leg pass on my feet versus leg passing on my knees is here when he's double leg and we're on our knees kind of this training wheel position i'm just windshield wiper my ankles and i'm getting my outside arm under so I'm windshield wiper and get my outside arm under, get my top hand to the sole. Now, one small detail that I didn't talk about when we first started doing this, I always want my shoulder touching the knee of the leg I'm passing, okay? I don't want to be extended way out here. Anytime I'm passing the leg, I want that leg to be almost part of my body. And a lot of times, he'll be trying to run and get to this corner, and I'll have to keep my feet in the mat and chase a little bit. Everybody see my feet working here? Okay. Anytime I get double leg and I'm on a hip and I get this leg control, I'm not out of the water, I'm not out of the fight yet unless he starts stepping over my legs. When I, when I start giving him this type of angle, that's when things start getting going downhill. But if I'm in this position, in, in, in Yanni Zane, we saw a lot of crotch lift positions. But you saw in that first match, like Zane's running the corner and Yadin just keeps scooting and adjusting. I'm not taking down here yet. And as this guy pursues and I'm working this leg straight, then right when he thinks he's about to score, man, I can get to my leg pass and start to work here. Okay? So the difference between on the knees and on the feet is a little bit different position of how we get there. So on the feet, I'm going to sidestep. I'm going to swing the leg away that his head's on that side. And I'm going to go to my knee, my hip, and my shoulder. So I'm going to sidestep. I'm going to swing this leg away. I'm going to go to my knee, hip, shoulder, heels to my butt. Okay? It's just a progression to get down to the mat. So he double legs me. I'm going to step. I'm going to swing. I'm going to go knee, hip, shoulder, heels to my butt. And then I, get, I still got work to do. Drive. See, I drove off my feet to get to that sole. I probably got the shortest arms in this room. I don't know, you're right, I might have me beat. Okay, all right? But see, I can, there's no way his shin is gonna be longer than my arms getting here. I'm driving, this is important. Don't be here, okay? That's not his soul, that's not his soul. This works, but I don't like trying to pass legs here. I got no chance of straightening him out. So I'm here, driving with my feet, now it's light and straight. Now I can continue to pass. Okay, so we're going to start on our feet. And then you just get smoother and smoother with it. Again, we're just getting reps here. So he's in on this double. I'm stepping and swinging. Get to it. Driving, driving, driving. Back in this position. Over and over and over again. Okay, because we see those guys at the highest level. And man, that looks so smooth. It's not that hard. That's the same technique that Jesse Delgado and all these other guys are doing. They just took time getting to that position. And then we start focusing on momentum. Everything that's coming to me, I'm just redirecting like a bullfighter. So as it's coming towards my hips, okay, I just took all of his energy that was coming towards my hips and I just redirected them in a circle, made it my advantage. Okay, so start out slow, 
and then have that guy shoot, and then start redirecting that momentum. And then we're getting more confidence in that position. Questions? We're good? All right, let's go. Let's get it.